prepare for rivals. Right, so let's see what Surf Slayers can do on their attack. No Beach is of a, a glorious defense setup. They're starting already with two sets of Falcon A, so it looks like they're going to try taking down towers. Possibly. Unless they've just got them to shoot up the stairs and just ruin any push that the attackers do. Mask Flame's got his Falcon A's out as well. They've got a couple of sets of Winged Assars, just in case the Sally out comes. Looking at the defenders' units, though, there's no way they're going to Sally out with that. Cavalry as well, they've only got three sets for the whole map, which is interesting. The defenders and the attackers have got one. Eight sets of cavalry, so Surf Slayers are basically doing the same as no beaches. They are betting on the fact that they will get through A and B and have a spawn point in the city so they can actually use their cavalry. Who's the guy with no name? Uh, that's just a mistake. There's the two guys on the attacking team. It's just, For some reason, since, this, uh, since a couple of weeks, that's just the thing. I don't know why. Con Berserk was one of them because he's the only NA3 player who the other who the EU1 player was. Sometimes it just doesn't show on that initial screen. They are all, all loading in though. You can see. Oh my god, look at the muskets from the defenders. No beaches with about 10 muskets. I'll, ca I'll count that now when we spawn in. But it looked like they had between 8 and 10 muskets. <laughs> so they are definitely going for siege tower destruction. Interesting. The attackers are going to try covering the gate right off the bat. Alright, let's have a quick count of these muskets. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sets of muskets. They've got a long bow and a short bow. The only guys that aren't ranged is Clapper Drogon with a maul and Nassi Nassil Nick as a pole axe. And they've got one short sword and two long swords. The Jackie Trin just died instantly to Dondolorus. What the hell was that? Was that a Dondolorus is on this side. Did he? It's How the hell did he do that? Short blades are pike, so short bow's ultimate just finished him. Mental man. You can you can kill a dual blades in three hits. Dondolorus might need a little bit of help over here though. If he's fighting Derevni, he's not really going to be able to kill him that quick if he's pursued his his ability, especially with a mole jumping up as well. He's about to die. Uh, no beaches need to send somebody around here. If he plays his roles right up. Dondolorus has got Zekaila, he's dead. No, he's dead. Instinct's not going to be in time, and now he's going to get picked up by Arca and thrown off the wall. Oh, there are a couple of muskets are coming over now as well. The Revni jumped off the inside of the wall, interesting. <laughs> so he's going to get hunted now. This is what they want him, distraction for the towers. Yeah. So they didn't actually send their Falcon it is up to shoot the towers is interesting they've just got a hell of a lot of muskets to pr oh no they're shooting the mid that one there from the street they're doing it are they shooting this one it's probably what they were using the muskets for Take a yeah lot. to get rid of the towers yeah yeah and, and like for caltrops and shit to slow the towers down and stuff mm. obviously black powder bombs but they've only got one of the towers down so it's not done that much. i suppose it forces them to fight on one side of the wall they can probably just ignore this set of stairs here it looks like the ram's probably going to get in. They've got a lot of heroes running around that to try and block musket bombs and stuff. We just killed Robert Disable. The Revenue's still in the back lines though. So Robert Disable just died down here like against five heroes. Nothing wrong with that. The Revenue's going to come in here and try disrupting some units by the looks of it. But he's just been stopped by Nasalink. Dondolorus is straight there as well, so he's dead. Nothing to do. There he goes. So the attackers so far have lost, what, three heroes, I believe? The defenders have lost one. Yeah. I think I think the attackers are going to be happy with that. They've got two of the siege towers in. They're pushing the third one in now. It is still getting hit by 
Falcon it is, though, so this is not going to last that long if it can just get shot like this. Is that mm. two sets as well? Yeah, Zenger and Ghost X there, so that's two sets of Falcon. That tower's not going to get in. That, there's no way this tower's getting in. Look how quick it sells dropping. For some reason, it won't show me the health bar, which is kind of enough. Oh, there it is. Doesn't make a difference. They're on point anyway. The instinct just killed DK. What the fuck, Muscat Muscatorino? Yeah, Arkinope. Apparently, no beaches love their musket. <laughs> so the attackers have just jumped in on two sets of Falcon in. They're going to get rid of them as well. Houndsmen were there as well. Very, very aggressive push from Surf Slayers. No units as well. Um, but they just pushed straight through. With so many muskets, there wasn't enough killing power, basically. Yeah, they might hit a crowd drop or two, or two off to slow them down, but they just lost three gold units for what? The loss of maybe five heroes if they're unlucky. Um, even if they'll be happy with that, getting getting the Falconities alone off the fight is, is is huge. Especially because they don't have Falconities left after that. Obviously, they don't know that yet, but that is going to be very nice for Surf Slayers for the rest of the fight. So now the hero difference is slightly different, so I'll let, I'll 12 even to 2. But they've got a lot of time. They're about to get the third Siege Tower in. Obviously, the Muskets and Longbow might actually be destroyed. It's got a third of itself left. Maybe a quarter. The unit pushing it is actually dead as well. I don't know if the muskets are going to be able to do enough damage, you know. They don't have jabs out to hit it either. Zakali might be able to kill it as well. Mm. Now that I think about it, this abbreviation ain't got... Ain't that great. Or oh, SS, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always say short sword, just to be on the safe side. Because you can never be too safe with something like that on Twitch. So, Gweed and General Reap accidentally fell off the wall, possibly? Or... Don't know. Right, so both teams are down a number of heroes. It's six minutes though. I do not think the defenders are gonna be able to hold A. Although they're pushing a lot of stuff up here. They've got claymores up here, they've got multiple claymores up here. They've got loads of claymores. Shenji's back there as well. Obviously the attackers can treb the whole of the wall. Ooh, cheeky little Sally out from instinct there as well. That Cataphrax as well. It was Cataphrax as well. So he's just trying to kill some of the units going up the going up the tower. I don't know how well that went off though. Attackers pushing in now. It looks like it's gonna be a juicy trip. These palace guards need to get in that fight there, I think. Oh no, they're blocking Oh no, no, they are going in now. Pretty decent treb though. Palace guards gonna charge in. Now they're gonna get hit from behind from claymores though. Two more sets of claymores. They fucking got loads of claymores. That is a lot of DPS, man. That is a lot of DPS. They're not trebbing either. They should be trebbing that there it goes. That's not the best place, Treb, if we're being fair. If they keep moving... Oh, there we go. That's actually decent. Right. So Jackie Trin looks like he's going to go to the other siege tower. I don't know if he's actually going to push up what units. Axe Raid. Right, so we've got just under five minutes. The defenders have got two sets of Zekalian. They've got Silidars up. They've got Purple Shields. Still three sets of Claymores. Fort Brachio and Pike Militia. Spot Brachio are, however, on the gate, so they're not actually going to be involved in the fight on the wall. Unit-wise, the attackers still have more units. They've definitely lost more heroes than the defenders have, though. Right, these Silidars are going to do work. The attacking Silidars are getting up now as well, though. All of the muskets with their caltrops and stuff, though, are absolutely neutering the speed of the attackers. That trip should have been a little bit closer to the siege tower, I believe. Yeah, like one landed in a decent spot. The guy is not playing role in escape. <laughs> right, so Surf's have pushed up this other side, though. They're doing work. Shenjins, I think, have still got the glitch where they can shoot through walls. They might actually still be doing quite a bit of damage there. Pawn Berserker's just called in another treb over here as well. That could... Oh, that's a nice one. That was, like, lucky with where it hit as well, because it was aimed back here, but I actually hit it at the front, so that's decent. Surf slays are one on this side. They're going to... They should really just do a defensive line and push on the way already. Them bombs are going to do work. Oh my days, that just hit everything. Probably didn't kill that much, but it's still going to hurt. And now they're getting pinched from both sides. No beaches, collapsed in here. The rotations from no beaches have been spot on so far. They've been really lucky as well. A lot of the trebs from Surf Slayers have just been so bad RNG that they just haven't landed where they've been aimed in a lot of cases. Or they've been aimed and like they haven't been lucky enough that they just like 
hit the places where you would want them to, so... I don't know how we're holding this with this many muskets. Mental, isn't it? Well, I, I mm. suppose it kind of makes sense. Although a lot of them are swapped again now, look. There's not as many as there were. We've got a couple of guys on pike now. So they have they have swapped a few guys out. But when you think alone, the amount of caltrops you can put down to just completely stop charges and stuff. Could be a decent trap coming in there as well. They're, they're not really paying attention. There's no units, though. Shield made. made interesting. So Surf Slays are pushing up this one side. I think after this push, though, Surf Slays are going to be in the exact same push position. They already are. As what um, no beaches were on their push. They've got cavalry and they're on the wall fight still, basically. Although no beaches had a. So here comes some guys pushing through gate now, but they can't really do anything. Obviously, he can get the resupply, but he can't actually help the fight up on the wall. So his team are actually outnumbered up on the wall. Still six trebs as well. This needs to be treb here. There it goes. Now they just need to sit back with their units as much as they can so that this treb does as much work as possible. That's a good treb. And now they need to hope that they can get things killed. Is that clear enough the point? The attackers have dropped four heroes. I think they've got more units up though. They are getting pushed from behind though. They just beaches just need to hold out for at least another minute. Yeah. It's gonna be close, man. The attackers are dropping heroes like flies though. I think it's going to be a draw. This time both defenders win. That's some quick ass matches, man. No beaches, man. I told defend defenders have such a huge advantage on this map. Like from rotations, they've got their, their, their two resupplies where they can pick stuff up. Like sicker wagon down here that's completely safe, the resupply. Um, the surf slayers are in the same position. They've got a lot of cavalry out, which they were hoping to use probably on the end point in B. And they can't use it because they're still on A. And there's a minute left of the game. No beaches have got complete wall control. They've got all of their heroes basically alive, bar two. The attackers have only got five on the field at the minute. They're also going to be spawning in. Very nicely done from no beaches. You could you could definitely argue that that was actually a better defense than what Surf Slayers just did because they didn't even lose A. Obviously, Surf Slayers didn't even play to defend A, but you know what I mean. Sinjev's pushing through now with cavalry again, but he's not really going to get that much done. Got charged in the side by some claymores as well, so... Oh, claymores were rapid. Yeah, they are, aren't they? With, like, sprint doctrine on, then you make them charge. Yeah, Probably that move twice as fast as they need to. Yeah. Popper Drogon's just... It's too late, though, man. Ten seconds. Surf Slays are still going to push in, though. Try and get as much damage done as possible. Robert DeSale just fell off the wall, though. Very, very... Well played, no beaches, man. That was a very solid defense, man. Surf slays as well on their defense were absolutely disgusting. The Treb RNG is insane. The Rolf God is with us. <laughs> hey, if you look, this, they didn't end up with that many muskets in the end. Nah, they swapped them out. I think right. it was just initially to try and get rid of, like, stop towers, yeah. and then they changed to pikes and all sorts of other things as well. Yes, I got you. Yeah, go, but only one. Very well played from No Beaches there, man. So as you can see here, the defenders actually lost the initial engage. Although they still managed to hold on enough to keep the wall. They lost more units there, and then after that... No, they actually lost the second one as well. What the hell? And it was the third fight where they actually... Game control. ...did a lot better, yeah. Where they, where they actually lost a hell of a lot less units than, than Surf's did. And obviously after that, Surf just didn't have enough uh, units to fight on the wall and they were using cavalry, so it was always going to end badly from, from there. Unit kill difference is 21 to 37 as well. So, extremely good game from No Beaches, man. Both teams, man. Both defences there were really, really nice to see.